Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 03 plate, so I think it's 2003, um, Land Rover Defender 110TD5XS um, station wagon, so that's the very high spec one. This one is in fact very high spec and it's also got air conditioning um, and ABS and traction control on it. Um, we just took this in part exchange on Saturday. Um, I've known the car for three years, it's just come from an old client, but uh, he's had it for the past nine years showing 169,500 miles, but almost all of that has been just plodding up and down the M4 every day from Newbury to London to work. Um, anyway, finished in Oslo Blue Mycotanic um, with uh, anthracite half leather excess interior. And this one's a nine seater, two in the front, three across the middle and four individual seats in the back with a cubby box. Um, big, big spec on this one all around. So apart from the air conditioning, the ABS and the traction control, it's also got um, heavy duty suspension on it, um, full length side steps, it's got a Mantex snorkel, light guards front and rear, um, big soft front A bar with uh, um, auxiliary lamps on the front there, also a roof bar with some auxiliary lamps as well. Uh, it's got steering guard under it, mud flaps all round, matching set of five general grabber um, 23585R16 tyres on the uh, boost alloys. Um, it's got a Rhino rack on the top, uh, which are quite nice fitments those, uh, with rear access ladder, adjustable tow pack, um, and inside as I say we've got air conditioning, uh, what else do we have, centre cubby box, uh, electric windows, it's got central locking, it was fitted with heated seats but they're no longer connected because it has had um, replacement X more trim seats put in, I'll explain that a bit later on. Um, it's got a heated screen, it's basically got the cold climate pack fitted to it, along with air conditioning. Anyway, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Not really much in the way of bad bits, apart from one or two paintwork uh, things because of the mileage. Around the front end, we've got a few spots of rust just on the bumper down there, and some, uh, some of the plastic coating off this light guard has come off. Um, we've got some lacquer loss just here, and a couple of more bits of lacquer loss just there, just around where stone chips have got, got bigger. Um, on the bonnet, there's two very big scratches here that have been uh, inexpertly um, touched in, shall we say, one there and one there. A um, little bit of paint loss just on the bottom of the scuttle underneath that vent just there. A little bit just around the vents on the, on the scuttle itself. Um, front bumper in the near side front corner here is just slightly twisted inwards, slightly pushed down like that. Uh, so that slits slightly, sits slightly upwards, shall we say. A um, little bit of, say, some lacquer loss here, down there like so, down there like that on the, on the front corner of the front wing, but the vehicle itself is completely dent free as far as I can see. Perhaps one tiny parking dink just in the top of the um, um, barrel side just there. A couple of other bits of paint loss just there. Scuttle corner on the near side looks first class. Uh, screen looks fine, roof looks good. A couple of scratches up here, I think it's probably had a different roof rack on at some point. Um, near side door, a couple of minor bits of electrolytic reaction just coming up here and there and a couple of tiny dinks. Inside it, it's all as it should be. Um, all the headlining is all nice, it hasn't been used for carrying heavy loads or anything, all it's been used is for running, uh, running to London and back, down to Le Mans once a year, um, and for family outings. Um, now the front seats, as I say, they are the correct pattern um, Exmoor trim replacement front seats because the, the original ones were getting a bit tired. They, the original ones did have the heating seat elements in them, but the, um, the owner decided when he replaced them with the Exmoor trim ones not to bother with the, uh, the heated seat elements because he felt that they weren't really up to um, Exmoor trim's usual high standards. All the wiring is still there, but the actual seats themselves haven't got heated, um, heated bases. But so nice Exmoor trim replacement front seats in the correct um, half leather trim pattern. Front cubby box has seen better days. A bit chipped and scuffed and stuff around the top edge. And a bit grubby, but um, dash is all there. Now, it, it's had a high-powered stereo put in it, and he's taken it out before it's come to us in part exchange, so the original stereo has just been popped back in the hole. That isn't currently wired up. And it's got a Bluetooth um, Berry uh, hands-free kit on it as well, um, with the microphone up there. Um, right, it's got all its proper Land Rover fitted mats throughout, and carpets and everything. 
door on the near side here is that all feels great, no problems at all with that. No, that's fine. P post is all good. Passenger door and on the quarter panel here there is some electrolytic reaction down there. That seems to be always the case. Um, in here it's all as it should be. Uh, passenger door is just starting to a bit of surface rust just there, the paint's come off. And at the bottom of the door there's a small hole in the bottom of the frame just there, but it's a long, long way from uh, needing anything. It's nice and solid on the hinges. Um, D posts are all good. A little bit of paint touching in's gone on just there by the look of it. On the back of the, um, oh, sorry, on the front corner of the near side rear wing. Um, it's all nice there. A couple of hedge scratches up here on the near side. A few scratches up the top here, obviously when they've been loading stuff onto the roof rack. Um, the little cross member area around the tail end looks uh, really quite tidy. In the back here, all as it should be, four individual seats, all with belts, all in nice shape. Um, the later style tailgate, and that is in very good order. No problems with that at all. Um, Offside rear wing, all nice, doors, yep, all good down there. One or two minor parking dinks just here and there and stuff. In here on the driver's side, again, deep post great, no problems with the seats. Um, passenger door's all nice there. Passenger door's very, uh, right rear door's very good indeed, actually. Um, offside door, we'll come back to the outside of it, it's fine. Put one or two parking dinks here and there around the latches. Uh, offside front wing, a couple of minor scratches just there, there and there. Um, offside front, scuff of corner, it's obviously had some, obviously some paint loss up here which has been touched in, um, just underneath the vent panel, and it's lost a bit of paint around the hinge on the bonnet there. But the scuff of corner is all first class. And inside here, Driver's door, just tiny, tiny, tiny hole. I'm just get my little finger in it, just there in the back of the um, driver's door frame. But the no real movement in the hinges. It's all nice and solid there. And it feels nice under here. It's not leaving a trail of rust down there either. So it's all really quite good. Um, that's about it, really. Cracking high spec Defender. It's been meticulously serviced. Um, so we've known of it for the last three years. It's come from an old customer. Um, but as I say, she's uh, she's nice. Anyway, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motordrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.